Actually, this year we've had another bumper crop of sweet potatoes. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, they're gorgeous. Last year we had a lot of potatoes and then we're blessed again this year. And I just wanted to, I was down here digging earlier and I wanted to take up another hill of these to kind of show you <laughs> what's in there. There's just nuggets of gold. Look at them. Oh, they're beautiful. Aren't they great? Now this variety is called Centennial and um, it's one of my favorites, although uh, we were raised on one called Beauregard. I'm very familiar with Beauregard. We grow a lot of Beauregards in North Carolina. Oh, do you really? One of my favorite sweet potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. aren't they great? Well, like the Beauregard, the Centennial has that sort of beautiful copper skin, and they're, they're an orange potato. Yes. Yeah, yeah, very, they're very, very good. Excellent. And what we find here is that, um, you know, if we planted a full acre, and what we have here is, is, is a little over an acre, but, but this particular variety would yield about uh, four to 500 bushels. They're that productive. Wow. If we planted it all, so there'd be a lot of sweet potatoes. So, Alan, I noticed the soil is really dark and rich and a little bit sandy. Is that typical of? Well, th yeah, it's, it's not. I mean, we really spent a lot of time working on the soil up here. You, I wish you could have seen this place two, two years ago mm -hmm. uh, because we, we did bring in a lot of humus. Uh, and you're very, very observant about the sand because that, that is in there. We brought in quite a bit of sand to help break up the clay. We, this, uh, even though we're on a, a, a mountaintop or a ridge, um, the soil up here is pretty heavy clay. There's a good bit of rock. We got all the rock out, but the main thing we brought in was a lot of, a lot of humus. And, you know, I have to say things have really grown with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever grown sweet potatoes? I haven't, but my father has. When, when I was young, my dad was big organic gardener and that was one of the, one of the things that he grew. Yeah, well they're fun because they um, well they yield so much. Oh yeah. And you know, I think it's a great thing for kids because you know, you can just take a like that rooted cutting in the windowsill, you know, that every kid's grown for a science project and and plant it and you know, each each one of those plants will produce uh, six or seven nice potatoes. Beautiful. So for this little bit of soil looks like there are a ton of potatoes growing right here yeah what, what do you do with all these do you store them what we do you know it's um we we have to get them dug before the frost my granddad always liked to to get them um at least the vines cut back before frost and and never let them stay out in the field and it rained because the 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 ends of the potato would turn black and so we still have several weeks, I think, before frost, but the potatoes are ready ready to harvest. This one is ready after 100 days, which oh, is wow. kind of remarkable, I think. But once we dig them, we'll wash them, and then we'll put them in a cool, dark place. Not too cold, because sweet potatoes like it, like it slightly warm. Mm. But um, with these, of course, we're going to take them in the kitchen right now and put them, put them to work. I can't wait to see what you come up with. All right. So let's I'm do excited. it. 